uh, when I watched uh, Reverend L. Sharpton, he said that it's not legislation. Like this is not legislation. So is it, is that the same question, is it more symbol than substance? The executive order has limited, has limited impact. Um, the Shelby v. Holder decision, the Supreme Court decision in 2013, actually gutted Section 5 of the Voter Rights Act of 1965, which was the preclearance mechanism that states that had traditionally discriminated against us had to get preclearance with the Justice Department in order that uh, they'd be able to make these changes. Once that decision came down from the Roberts Supreme Court, Voter ID laws, uh, purges took place, um, restrictions on, the, on how many days we can vote. All of these registration, uh, local control, all of these things started going to effect. And the Brennan Center today, I believe it was over 43 states have already filed somewhere north of, of 200 bills to restrict voting uh, as uh, they saw black people come out uh, as they hadn't seen in the past. And so, and so until Congress passes a law um, that will restore once and for all that which uh, is our citizen right, if we are citizens, then uh, we're gonna continue to see this happen again and again and again. And the last point I'll make is, is that many of these people talk about their state's rights and the federal government needs to stay out of it, but they seem to forget that in the, the last four words of the 10th Amendment is, or to the people. They forgot. It's not the state's rights. It's also the people's rights. And if we're citizens, then give us our citizenship rights. But if we're not, then let us go so we can do something for ourselves in the state or territory of our own. Be a part of the force that powers truth in journalism. Go to nnvnews.com slash donate.